Presto, guys! As you can see by my wonderful beach-themed shirt, we are about to step into the great outdoors on an adventure. Wouldn't you like to join me on an adventure into the great outdoors, far away from any cellular connection, where there are snakes that are poisonous, there's no food, it's boiling hot, and it rains all of the time, and maybe we might die if we're lucky. Don't you want to join me? <laughs> so welcome to a game called Green Hell. Now this is a survival game that popped up on Steam and a lot of people have been playing it. Apparently it's a lot of fun and I have zero survival skills. So I thought, what the hell? I've got this shirt. It's going to waste. I might as well throw it on my fat white body and play a game that involves being outdoors since I never step outside, as you can probably also tell by my white skin. So regardless, we're gonna play this today and um, try not to die. Stop. Yeah, it's bad enough that one of us is scared already, all right? I don't need you panicking as well. As your guide though, that has zero experience, I will protect you. If I see a monster or some slimy snake, I'll step on it. And then if it starts moving, I'm running the other way to leave your bitch ass to die. So every man for himself. Even though I forced you to come with me. Sorry about that, but I'm a coward. I need help. Ooh. I can rock climb! I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything alright? No! We're out of yeah. chocolate! You can come up. Um... You do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? I, I got a walkie-talkie? <laughs> That's bad. That means I don't have any cellular connection, which means I can't call mom and have her bring me any medical supplies in case I get a cut. Uh, walkie-talkie, right, okay. Well, let me just kind of peep this. Ooh! Damn! This is beautiful! Too bad there's no toilets out here, and there's no McDonald's, and there's nowhere for me to go cry in a corner in safety. It's just, it's open nature! I hate it! No internet either. I would die in real life without the internet. <laughs> yeah, let, let me hit you up. What up, baby cakes? Up. Just go ahead. Mm-hmm. I need to find something in in my backpack. Oh, really, you kinky slut, you? I bet you want to nap. What exactly? Yeah, what you got in that backpack, huh? Hiding a Snickers bar from the hungry guy? Oh, that's cold. Um, what exactly? The deer should already be at the camp. You will know when the time comes. Patience. Told you she's a kinky ass well, bitch. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm -hmm. I know. Can these damn birds shut up? I know you're like some special snowflake tropical bird that thinks you're cool because you make weird squawking noises, but shut up or I will break out the 12 gauge. Do not try me. You are a beautiful bird though. <laughs> you look great on my bed. A uh, bed? Wall. I don't know what I'm talking about. Have you tied down the boat? Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Hey. Jake, um... <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um... But I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel ya. The place is beautiful. Still? Still. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand. Dr. Higgins. Are those shots? You calling me out? Huh? Are those shots and me? I decided to become who I am because I wanted to be me, bitch. Um, I have no idea where I'm going, but damn, this map is beautiful. Map, see, I'm, I'm thinking about this as a video game. It's survival. I cannot eat in real life until I've eaten in this game. That's just how it's going to go down. Shut your squawking up, birds. God damn. Animals, am I right? <laughs> Ruining everything. Ooh. They are beautiful though. Oh, a lizard. How's it going there, buddy? You know, I haven't had a lizard burger yet, but you would taste delicious. Have Gordon Ramsay cook your ass up. Mm. Oh, the camp. Very green. Really too green. I don't like when it's too green. That means I'm in nature. This is the camp. You have got to be joking with me. This is all I get. Some boxes. 
And a tent? Uh, where's the toilet? Where's the Xbox? I'm spoiled. I'll stop. Okay. I found the tent. Is everything all right? No, it's not all right. Well, what's the rain supposed to do? Just go the other way? There's a huge hole here. I'm going to die out here. Guaranteed. It's not a five star. Spacious interior. Luxurious cots. Not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. Perk. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Oh, it's gonna leak. This old trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Everything we need? So what? The bare necessities? I don't see anything there that I need. Where's the toilet? Well, Where's the air conditioner? That's everything. Where's the snacks? We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Who's talking Better to pick me? Up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. Is she in my head? Bro, I've got schizophrenia, don't I? All right, boys, keep your eyes peeled for something sharp enough to chop down a tree. Granted, I could probably just karate chop that bitch and knock it down, but don't want to risk ruining my good hand all the way out here, you know what I'm saying? So we need something to cut down a tree. Ooh, we've got electronics, that's good. We've got canned food. Oh, oh lots of canned food. I'm not a dog. I need something to be cooked up for me, you know what I'm saying? Have a little seasoning on it. The Lost Tribe. Ooh. This is their land, their heritage, as it has been for thousands of years. Everyone who comes here needs to respect this. The Lost Tribes. Apparently there's <laughs> tribes that have yet to be integrated into society. Meaning, they don't have electronics, they've never eaten food out of a can, they don't got McDonald's, and they probably worship planes that fly over their head. Oh, I could not imagine how bad that would be. Ooh, door. Hunt, get the campfire started, please. Oh no, man, I got a pretty good view from here. Kinda wanna hit it from behind, Hun, jungle style! Started, like Tarzan! You know, Tarzan was a kinky bitch, did it with the monkeys, man! Slapping his meat with some bananas, like, damn, Tarzan was a pimp! Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I need, uh, oh, stick? Okay, I got a stick. Oh, machete! It was outdoors! Right, got it! Another stick, okay. Stones? Let's find a tree and chop it down. That's uh, a little too thick. Oh, now here we go. Now we're talking. I've got testosterone. I'm a real man. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> if I can't chop down a little toothpick like this, I don't deserve to be a man. <laughs> nope, nothing. <laughs> nope. Wrong tree. <laughs> no, wrong tree, bitch. What are you doing? There we go. Oh, yeah. Chop that down. Real manly shit. Oh, I can feel the chest hairs growing now. Perfect. Let me grab these sticks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Yo, uh, yo, honey cakes. Baby girl, you gonna come out here and help a man out? No? You gonna let me do all the heavy lifting? I thought so. She's in there reading one of those fiction books about <coughs> romance. <coughs> romance. <coughs> I'll just go ahead and set this campfire up right here. Uh, why did, why did I drop that? Nope. Let me grab you. Fine. Apparently that doesn't work. Craft. Ooh, notebook. Small fire. Ooh. Okay. Let me grab these sticks. And. Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? I'm positive. Yeah, left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh. But it feels that way. Hmm. Maybe that's because your fat ass was snacking on all the Cheetos, huh? Went through all the treats already. All the junk food. Snack that bitch up. I knew it. I knew it. She's a fat ass. Uh. Okay. What, what do you mean? Small stick? I put small sticks down, bitch. Long stick? Nope. Maybe I chop them? <gasps> oh, there we go. <laughs> Ah, feels good to be a real man. Yeah, manly man. What do you mean small stick? Yeah, why do I have to use small sticks? 
You can only create a fire if you have small sticks and not large pieces of wood. Who came up with this system? Can I chop these more? Small stick. Okay, I didn't know that's how that works, but uh, cool. I need more small sticks. You have got to be shitting me. Okay, small sticks. Boom, boom. Ah, oh, now we're getting work done. It's awfully a meticulous way of building a campfire. I don't know why you can't just throw a piece of wood on there and then start it up, but whatever. Use tool to create ember. Oh dear, what does that mean? Uh, oh, can you bring me a lighter? Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. All right, well, we have to rub one out the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Find something dry such as bird nest, fiber, or some other dry leaves. What? You have got to be joking with me. Can I take this? Is that dry? Oh, that's rope. Oh, how handy. That way I can use it to kill myself. Now, where would I find something dry? Other than my sense of humor, which is always dry. A spark away from creating a forest fire. But, uh, out here, I don't know what I'm looking for. Oop, dry leaves? Leaves? Can, can I pick that up? No, okay, well, aha! Bird nest! Perfect. Sorry about that, mama bird, but I need your little home to create a fire to warm my home up. It's called nature, bitch, and it's cruel and cold. Um, use a hand drill, open backpack tab, okay? So, hand drill. Is that what I do? This is so complicated. Good lord, I am not smart enough for this at all. Drag kindling from backpack and drop on fire tool to start a fire. Wait, what? Oh. Well, that's how that works. Yeah, you rub one out until you feel the pain. You know you got it working when you can feel the burn. Oh, oh Mia. We got a fire. The fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. It's actually 100 degrees outside right now. <laughs> how do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. She's a robot. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Really? Because I don't prefer the wilderness at all. Uh, I miss you? What do you mean you miss her? She's right there! You're right, I told you she's a robot. I love you. Oh, okay, let's get the romantic shit out of the way right now. I love you. If I had known where my ambition would lead us, if I knew it would put you in danger, I wouldn't have written that damn book. Yeah, and if everyone had that attitude, there would be no scientific progress whatsoever. Don't blame yourself. There might still be time to reverse the whole thing. And I love you too, cariño. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Really? I don't know about all that. She's gonna be dead. She is dead. She's already dead. She's been dead. She's a dead woman walking. Oh, look at that bed. So comfortable. And I'm sleeping with all my clothing on. Oh, that's just amazing. Search the tent. For what? God damn, that bed looks uncomfortable. I'd rather sleep on the ground than that. Oh, that looks so uncomfortable. We got canned cold food. At least I've got a fan with me, you know? <laughs> my biggest fan. What's up, man? How's it going? Ooh, 
Actual sugar. Mmm, I'm so hungry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fat man wants to eat. Oh, no. Here are all the notes. Let's look at this. Hold up. Skull painting warriors. Oh, that's kind of badass. Like how this man's got a little speedo action going there. Almost looks like a penis if it was made of a potato. Right. Search the tent. Search the tent for what, though? Oh, I'm at village. Call me with radio when you wake up. P.S. There's a little gift for you. Love, Mia. Ooh, <laughs> a little gift. <laughs> what you got for me? Can't be anything too good. She's in the village, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hello, Mia? Hello, Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? Mm, kind of. I, I need my coffee, though. I need my caffeine, man! You left already? Why didn't you wake me up? You know I hate farewells. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's breakfast? All. <laughs> Probably a tin can Admit. full of food. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. What'd you, uh... What'd you get me, huh? Can't be that great. Again, you're at the village. You know? Not gonna get any of that special birthday love. You got me a mask? Oh, that's just great. Pick up gift. Well, where is my gift? Oh, a watch. A watch? You have got to be shitting me. Is that that new Apple watch? Uh, it doesn't look like it. <sighs> exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. What a nerd. <laughs> and a macro element scanner. Oh! Take yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can worry you out. Yeah, this Tell is true. Hold up to look at your smartwatch and check status of your basic needs. Got it. Because I can't feel myself, right? I can't feel when I'm hungry and sleepy. Um... The hell does that even mean? Uh, I have no idea what those symbols mean at all. I think I'm screwed. Find something nutritious and eat it. Oh, okay. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. I spotted a candy bar right there. Ooh, protein bar. Even better. Get them gains. Do some push-ups. Get jacked like Tarzan. I'm just missing a Big Mac, man. That's all I want. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and eat this up. Oh, we have carbohydrates, proteins, and fats? It's that advanced? Calm down, bro. It's a video game. So let's check the watch. How, wait, how do I check the watch? Oh, okay. My wrist look clean. Wow. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. Si. And as expected, they don't want to talk. Naturally. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Okay, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Just be careful, please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. Or you got your head chopped right. off in a religious ceremony. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I that saw a few boring. new specimens around here. Ah, here we go. Tobacco plant. Ooh, <laughs> little smoky smoky. Don't smoke, kids. Leaves are great at healing venom bites. But what else can they heal? Shouldn't you know you're a doctor and a nerd? Come on. I saw this plant on north side of camp after climbing on a rock. There is plenty. It's a lot of broken English. It's a good start. Yeah, I guess so. Only well, problem is, which way is north? I know I should probably internally feel that north is that direction, but I can't. And my watch tells me that I have a certain amount of protein and calories, but not what time it is and which way is north. Stupid watch. Hello? Anybody seen a tobacco plant? Not to smoke it, you understand. No, I wouldn't dream of smoking it. I need it for my venom bites, yes. And if you find a marijuana plant, I also need that. But not to smoke, you understand. Just, uh, you know, as like a little bit of a decoration for my table when we're eating. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. And cocaine goes great for baking. Trust me, I know. Ooh, wait a minute. What are you? Could this be it? Oh, what? what? How can he climb that slowly and deliberately? Good God. Robots! 
I told you, friggin' robot. Oh, I think I broke my butt. Me. The line snapped. Mia, because of my fat I ass I and all those candy call, bars. But a line snapped, and I fell down a good thirty feet. Just me. Are, are you okay? Can I broke my arm. I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Check myself. But check yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh, see to open wheel. Okay. Uh, and choose body inspection. Inspect. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, left arm looking pretty good. Oh, uh, damn, son. That's definitely not good. Yeah, definitely messed the right arm up a little bit. That's the, the arm that matters the most. Yeah, look at that. Oh, shit, those ankles, though. God damn, bro. Got some good-looking ankles, even though they're a bit muddy. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? No, I'm dumb. How do we do it, baby cakes? Yes, I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf. Surrounded by yellow flowers. That's it. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. <gasps> Call me when you've treated your wound. Notepad, you say? Its long leaves are ideal for crafting bandages. Ooh. All right, we need to keep our eyes peeled for a long, smooth leaf surrounded by flowers. Yellow flowers. Hmm. Wonder if any of this actually works. You know? Like, does it really help that much? Obviously, it has to, right? Ooh, what's that? Unknown fruit. Huh, better eat it then! Am I right? If it's unknown, eat it! Find out if it's poisonous. Only one way to know. You gotta try it. <sighs> Alright, chop! Oh! Got it! Alright, now how do I craft? Okay, and one bandage. Boom, bada, bing! Just like that, Mother Nature taking care of us! Oh, that looks very effective. Here I am. All wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Yeah, I'm kind of dying, you know. My right arm is affected. We'll, we'll probably have to cut it off, but beyond that, not much, you know. <sighs> like hell. Aww, pobrecito mio. Imagine I am hugging you now. I don't want a hug. I want something else. Better? Not really. Uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they Good. opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now... The Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. You're in danger, all right. In danger of being stupid. Day Jake, 32? Please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please. Please answer me. I think she's dead. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia, what the hell's going on over there? The minute I pick up the walkie-talkie, this bitch disappears? You've got to be joking with me. Come on, Mia. This is obviously a prank of some sort. What do I do? Find Mia. Ooh. All right. I think Mia's in trouble. They're cutting her toes off. It's part of a sacrifice. Story mode. Oh, so that was just the intro. And now we're in survival mode. Boo! I want to do the story! Well, I'm gonna leave it off there, guys. Um, if you want me to play more of this, I definitely can. It's a survival game, so you do a lot of surviving. But if not, that's fine as well. Hopefully, guys, enjoy the video. Me is dead as hell, and peace out!